Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another discussion video. And today, um, this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a good while, for a long time now. And uh, finally decided to do it in the form of this discussion, this podcast, you know, whatever you prefer to call these videos. I'm just going to call them discussion videos because that's essentially... Uh, to me what they are and today well tonight this morning whatever um, since I can't sleep I figured I might as well come on here and talk about this topic and I'm going to talk about today the nostalgia topic and why this nostalgia trend this nostalgia train ride whatever you folks want to call it frankly it's just it's old it's been done to death and it just needs to be put to sleep it needs to end you know I'm tired of this nostalgia trend not just with movies but with everything else you know I'm just tired of it and it's just time that they put this to rest and get back to doing original ideas and that I wanna I wanna kick that off first because I think a lot of people get confused when I say, you know, that they need to do original ideas and there needs to be more originality. And I think people get confused because they think that I'm talking about uh, just original ideas. You know, just coming up with a brand new, fresh, 100% original idea. And that's not what I'm talking about, folks, because that is impossible to do at this point you know the year is 2015 almost 2016 hard to believe but in this day and age in this time it is impossible to do something completely 100 percent original um, you know th they have done everything at this point not just in terms of movies but in terms of video games in terms of comic books in terms of music in terms of TV, they have done every single idea known to man. And there's no way that someone can come up with a completely 100% original idea. It's just not going to happen, folks. And I don't mean it in that way. If, if some of, I know a lot of people are thinking that way because people have messaged me and people have asked me about it and commented and so on and so forth. And that's not what I mean at all. What I'm talking about is just do something different. Do something, you know, that is not a remake or a reboot or a reimagining or a backdoor whatever. You know, do something that's not based on a book. Do something that's not based on a true story. Do something that, you know, um, is inspired by or, you know, whatever. You know, just come up with a original you know idea you know take you know something like the expendables okay the expendables it's not a completely original idea there's they've made plenty of movies about mercenaries but the approach to it was original let's take all the big action stars you know from the 80s and the 90s and try to put as many as we can in a movie Okay, that's an original idea because that was never done before. Of course, there's been movies in the past where you have a uh, ensemble cast or you have uh, two or three big names together. But a movie like The Expendables was the first of that type of idea where it tried to get as many guys as possible in one movie. Okay, uh, take something like the last stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger okay that you know not a completely original movie but it's like okay yeah you have Arnold he's older he's not as fast as he used to be but he can still kick ass he can still be the best you know a movie like that you know that's stuff that I'm talking about you know again not completely 100 percent original you know but the approach to it is original. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I think people get confused 
when I say, you know, an original idea. They they keep thinking, well, it's something completely 100% never been done before. Impossible, folks. Not in <clears throat> almost 2016. It's just, it'll, it'll never happen. If, if it does, I'll be very surprised. Um, you know, another movie getting ready to come out, like uh, The Last Witch Hunter with Vin Diesel. You know, that's, you know, different. You know, something like that. And also, Hollywood needs to stop with these fucking sequels. It's like everything is a sequel. And I'll get more to that, you know, in a minute. I'll get more into the different uh, things in a minute here. But to be perfectly honest, folks, I've just, I've had enough of this nostalgia trend, you know, because it seems like with the advent of social media, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, whatever we're talking about here. Um, social media is still kind of new um, because it hasn't been around that long. I know Facebook, I believe, started in 2004, 2005, somewhere in there. Um, MySpace, for those that remember MySpace, started around the same time. Um, I know Twitter is only a few, I believe, a few years old. I think Twitter started maybe 2007, 2008, if I have all my numbers correct. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on these dates here. I'm just kind of going off of what I remember. But it seems like with the creation of social media that this nostalgia trend has really gotten to the point where it is now to where it's old, it's annoying, and people really need to, you know, think for themselves and do something different and try to be original um you know that's just my opinion on the subject folks and what i mean by that is you know you see all these uh facebook pages these youtube pages whatever you know these nostalgic pages where all they do is they post the same pictures over and over again and it'll say something to the effect of like this if you remember and like this if this is nostalgia and share this if it's nostalgia if not you're not cool or you know you have all these channels here on YouTube the nostalgia whatever channel you know the nostalgia critic there you go prime example you know stuff like that and it's just old you know I get tired of when I get on Facebook and I just am tired and fed up of Facebook anyway for other reasons um, not just this one but I'm just tired of getting on there when everyone's like, oh, like this, if you remember, or like that, if you remember, share this, if you remember, um, you know, if you don't remember, you're a loser, and only the true fans will remember, and shit like that. It's just so annoying, and it's so, um, you know, overrated, the whole nostalgia thing, overhyped, because people keep pushing this nostalgia card, to where they the only excuse they have for it is well you know it's good to be nostalgic and you should remember these things and you know just be cool you know be part of the bandwagon because that's all it is it's like all right let's just jump on this fucking bandwagon because people got nothing better to do and that's the thing that pisses me off you know it's like they only all people want to do is just pull the nostalgia card oh i remember that and I remember this, and that was cool, and yeah, that was awesome, and I love that, just based upon nostalgia. Not for the fact that it's, you know, it was a good movie, or it was a good TV show, or it was a great song by that artist, or whatever. You know, not based upon the fact of the uh, the content of it. Not, you know, not that. It's just like, oh, well, that's nostalgic, because that was around when I was a little kid, so... It's always going to be nostalgic. And, you know, I always talk of you know, this topic, this nostalgic topic, I always talk about it. You know, you guys know from my videos, from my reviews and everything, that, you know, this is something that bothers me, so I'm obviously going to be vocal about it. And another thing is, you know, just, it's just so, like, people want to use that excuse for everything. Like, with these remakes. Now, remakes are not new. I mean, they've been remaking movies for a very long time. 
Um, you know, look at the 80s. You had a lot of great remakes in the 80s. You had Scarface. You had John Carpenter's The Thing. You had The Blob. You had The Fly. Um, you know, in the 90s, you had some remakes. You know, you had the, I guess the American Godzilla film could be considered a remake. I'm, I don't know how that works. But I like that movie. You know, I've always liked that movie ever since it came out. I've always been a fan of that film. And, you know, another thing is, you know, the remake, I might as, you know, might as well go into the different topics here. You know, the remakes and the reboots, that's the, the excuse that I always see. Well, it's nostalgic. It'll get people that love these movies, people that grew up with these movies, people that saw these movies in the theaters. That will get them to come see the new version and see how it compares. You know, that's always the same lame bullshit excuse that they use for these remakes. And that's exactly what it is, folks. It's exactly what I just said. It's lame and it's bullshit. Because everyone, you know, every time they announce a remake, whatever it may be, you know, whether it's, you know, Point Break is getting ready to come out or, you know, whatever it is, you know, Point Break or, uh, you know, Friday the 13th or whatever this the remake is, people will always say the same thing. They will say, oh, well, you know, this isn't going to be as good as the original. This isn't going to compare to the original. It's like comparing apples and oranges. You know, you'll have uh, the people that were in the movies say, well, you know, I think it's a bad idea, and they shouldn't do it, and, you know, it's just, it's completely unnecessary, and I don't understand why Hollywood keeps doing it. This, the same reaction happens all the time. So you would think at this point Hollywood would say, oh, well, there's no point of making these remakes anymore. Why don't we just fucking stop and try to do something different for a change? But no, not at all. You know, <laughs> and then that's what I don't understand. And I know that, again, this is another topic that I always talk about. This is another topic, you know, I always get into is the the remakes and the reboots and and all that. And you know, I don't want to spend too long on it because you know, I it's again, it's something I always talk about. And you guys know, again, you you know that it's you know, it's one of the things that I I go off of. You know, I always just go off on. You know, is the more appropriate response there. I just go off on on this this topic because it's true because I'm tired of it and it needs to fucking stop and nobody wants it you know because it's just it's just I, I mean I could sit here all day I could sit here all day I could sit here four days you know whatever and just go off on the on this topic you know but I'm not going to because you know, it's something that I always talk about. And again, what is the point of me still talking about this when, and again, you know, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I'm nobody special. You know, I'm nobody perfect. N and nor do I want to be. You know, I want to be me. I don't want to be something I'm not. And, you know, these remakes, and that's the thing, like, they think, well, it's, you know, it's better than nothing. And, you know, we have to do it. You know, we have to introduce these films to the new generation. You know, again, the majority... There's been some that are good. But the majority of these films suck. And they're not making money at the box office. They're flopping at the box office. So there you go. I mean, the the writing is on the wall. The proof is in the pudding. You know, and they should just stop. But they're not going to. Because they're stupid. You know, there's just, just no other... It's no other wor word. It's just stupidity. But, you know, the thing with the remakes, you know, they just, they keep going off of that. Well, people will remember, and people will want to compare, and all this horse shit, you know. And that's all it is. It's just, it's just bullshit. You know, and it's just enough. You know, so enough about that. You know, I keep going off on that, you know. Music, um, it's different from music when an artist covers a song because people have been doing that forever. People have been covering songs forever. 
and that's cool. You know, I I like when I mean not with modern music because I don't really listen to much modern music. It's just I think that 98% of the music that is out there now is shit and it's garbage and it's the same stuff over and over again. It's just people sitting in a room, sitting in the, if you want to call them studios, they're not really studios anymore, but they sit there and they go, okay, I'm going to play this sample for you. Do you like it or do you like something else? Okay, is, is this okay for you? Is this not okay for you? Whatever. And that's how they create songs. They play samples on a computer and they add words to it. You know? Or... It's like, well, cover this song because you have to. Because there's, you're the only person that can do this. You know, shit like that. So, I mean, if it's a band like Motley Crue, for example, you know, they've done some covers. They did a really good cover of Helter Skelter. Smoking in the Boys' Room is one of their um, most well-known songs and a uh, very popular song by them. It was a big hit for them. Um... So there you go, and that's good, you know, when you go out there and you make it your own, you know, and that's the thing, you should make it your own, and that's the thing with music, you know. So there you go, so music, it's kind of tricky, um, if it's an older band, and even if, like, today, like, today, if Motley Crue decided, or whoever, Motley Crue, Kiss, uh, Poison, Van Halen, whoever, if they decide to, uh, you know, do a cover today as their next song, you know, that, I'd be interested, because it's an older band, but if it's someone newer, like, uh, Taylor Swift, or whoever, not really gonna be interested in that, because I don't give a shit about Taylor Swift, I don't like Taylor Swift, I don't like her music, I don't like her at all, I just, there's just something about her that I don't like, and, you know, I just, I can't stand her. And it's just as simple as that. It's not because she's a woman. It's not because of the music she plays. It's just, I don't like Taylor Swift at all. I just have no interest in her music or anything. Because it's just something about her that I don't like. I just don't like her as a person. And I don't like her music. And that's the end of that topic. So music, it's tough. Again, if it's a, if it's a band like, an older band that I enjoy, like, you know, Motley Crue, or Poison, or, you know, if Led Zeppelin were to ever get back together and, and do something, you know, that that's different, you know, but if it's a newer band, I don't give a shit, it's, you know, it's, I don't like modern music, I don't listen to much of modern music, um, you know, of course, there are some bands I like, uh, I like Mark Tremonti, I like Alter Bridge, you know, stuff like that, um, but other than that, you know, not really. Um, but with, yeah, with music, it's kind of a tricky thing. Going back to movies, you know, again, besides remakes, the big trend with movies is, you know, based on books. Okay, now they've been making movies off of books forever. Okay, Jaws is based on a book. Um, you know, there's a lot of other ones that I can't think of right now because I've, I've got so much on my mind right now that it's hard for me to process everything. But, you know, they've been doing this forever. But it seems like, you know, because back when Jaws came out, okay, yeah, you made movies out of books, but it wasn't like 10 a year, you know, like they're doing now. It just seems like now it's like every other movie is based on a book, you know, and it gets old after a while. And that's not just with this trend, but it's with everything, you know, and it's like, well, people read the book, so, um, you know, we should make a movie off of the book, you know, people will get nostalgic about the book, or you take a book like, you know, and I know, I know that they're not making movies anymore off of this franchise, but Harry Potter, you know, Harry Potter, it's like, oh, well, you know, people grew up with Harry Potter, you know, that's, we should make, you know, I know they want to make more and stuff like that, but, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. It's like, oh, well, we, you know, we have to make a movie 
after the out of that or a cartoon or you know whatever whatever it may be you know, you understand what i'm saying you know it's like oh we have to it has to be done that way and whatever you know stupid shit like that but anyway um so yeah they need to just stop not really well yeah stop but slow down you know stop making 10 a year or 5 a year or whatever you know, just just stop going off of that. You know, fucking Hunger Games and uh, all this shit. You know, just enough. Enough is enough already with the fucking, uh, you know, books based on movies. You know, so people, again, you know, people will say, um, well, you know, that we read those books as kids. You know, like, if they were to make movies out of Magic Tree House, for those that remember Magic Tree House... Um, you know, that would be the same thing. Um, it's like, oh, well, that's nostalgic. You know, we should, you know, we should make a movie out of that because it's nostalgic for us. You know, shit like that. So, that and I guess I could go back to the, uh, well, yeah, the books based on movies. The shit based on true stories, you know, it's the same thing. You know, it's like, oh, well, people remember that. That story, you know, like if they were to make a movie about Columbine, you know, oh, well, people were, and no, I don't think they made a movie about Columbine. No, um, I don't think it was about Columbine, but it was like a similar situation. It was a Gus Van Zant film. I think it was, um, what was it called? Last Days or something? Or was that the one about Cobain? I can't remember what the title of the movie was, but Gus Van Zant made a movie about like Columbine, not exactly about Columbine, but a similar situation. Um, you know, that again, you know, people remember that. You know, people want to see a movie about that. You know, shit like that. So that gets old. Uh, TV shows, like, you know, I know they're bringing back Full House. It's like, why? It, it, it ended 20 years ago. Why all of a sudden now it's like we need oh we need another full house you know it, it just doesn't I don't know I just don't get shit like that excuse me while I take a drink but anyway um yeah it's like do we need Another full house, you know, what are they going to call, I think it's going to be called Fuller House. Um, but, who cares, you know, like, I don't care. Like, I don't need to see it, you know, it's like, I don't want to see it. I don't care. Um, you know, the, this X-Files, X-Files, okay, you know, I'll watch another, you know, it's only going to be six episodes, which isn't bad, you know, it's going to be a couple episodes, you know, it's not going to be that, you know, that big of a, of a show, but that, I can, you know, that one, I will say, I am interested in, because I love X-Files, I think X-Files is a great show, um, I love the whole saga of it, so that one I'll check out, because it's X-Files, you know, I'm interested in that, but, you know, they want to keep making these sequels to shows and, and remaking shows and stuff like that. And it's like, who fucking cares? Like, why do they need another, you know, full house or, you know, whatever they're trying to do? Why is it necessary? It's not. But again, they, they just fucking keep doing it. I don't know why, but they keep doing it. But oh well, you know, so this fucking TV show shit is just, you know, like now that's like the big thing, you know, um, it's like, oh, well now, you know, because of Netflix and Hulu and stuff, now I guess there's a market for that. But again, there's always been a market for it because look, they did the Ninja Turtles uh, show, the, the second Ninja Turtles show, the second He-Man show. You know, excuse me, they've done, you know, second Thundercats. They've done that. They've tried to bring things back with varying results. You know, Ninja Turtles was on for seven seasons. 
He-Man was only on for one. Thundercats was only on for one. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. So, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, at least they tried, you know. And they tried it on a TV station. Not, you know, Netflix is not a TV station, folks. As much as people want to believe that, it's not. You know, it's a pay service. It's like HBO. You know, you pay to see that. It's part of the package. You know? <laughs> So there's that, but, you know, so I don't understand why they keep, you know, bringing back these TV shows, you know, and remaking TV shows, making sequels to TV shows. You know, again, X-Files, okay, I'll watch that, because I like X-Files. You know, if they were to do, like, a, a Buffy the Vampire Slayer type of thing there, you know, if they if they got everybody back for, you know like 10 episodes or whatever of Buffy, okay, I'd be interested because Buffy is one of my favorite shows. I would definitely watch that. Or Angel, you know, if they did a proper ending to Angel, which they never did, um, you know, because they canceled the show. You know, I would see that. You know, something like that. If they were just to uh, just end it properly, you know, something like that. For a show, you know, like Angel that deserved it. You know, that didn't get it. You know, something like that. Okay, yeah, you know, I'd be down. Or, yeah, if they just decided to do, like, Buffy. It's like, okay, let's bring everybody back. Let's do a little ten-episode thing. Okay, that'd be cool. Something like that. Or, um, what they should have done with Power Rangers, you know. Like, with the Super Mega Force. They should have just brought back as much of the original cast as possible and just pay tribute to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one that started the, the franchise. But, you know, they couldn't do that. A little hard for them to do that, I guess. Not just because they didn't want to pay nobody. Long story short. But yeah, TV shows, um, you know, I just don't get why now... That one has become part of the, the trend, the remake trend, or, oh, let's make a sequel, you know, it's, let's make a sequel to that, because that's what people want to see, you know, stuff like that. And going back to movies, again, with movies, you know, again, with sequels, you know, like remakes, they keep making sequels to stuff. Like, why? You know, why, like, Terminator Genesis, which... You know, you know my thoughts on that. Just watch the video. Um, why? Like, was that movie completely necessary? Was Jurassic World necessary? Were any of these recent sequels that either A, were not very good, or B, not successful, were any of them necessary? You know, that's the question that I always ask. Was it necessary to make a sequel to that? Nine times out of ten, the answer should be no. Then why do they keep doing it? Why do they keep making them? Because they're obviously not making money because Terminator Genesis flopped here in America. Oh, but it made money overseas. Who gives a shit about overseas? Most of these companies, if the movie doesn't make money here, then it flopped. You know? <laughs> to them, it flopped. It, it's just the nature of the business, folks. I mean, your movie can make a trillion, billion, million, billion, baba shaba deba laba ding dong amount of money overseas, but if it doesn't make money here in America, it's a flop. You know? Now, I know what people are thinking. Well, you like Friday the 13th. Well, that was, you know, people, what people still don't understand is, okay, yeah, you know, they made a bunch of sequels, but it was a different time. You know, it was a different time. That, you know, the 80s was sequel mania. That was when they were making sequels for a lot of movies the first time. You know? That's when you had the Star Wars sequels. That's when you had movies, um, you know, that's when you had franchises created in the 80s. It was a different time. It was new at the time. It was brand new. 
Sequel? What, what, what the hell is a sequel? You know, people didn't know what sequels were back then. And that's the thing, like, they were brand spanking new. And people didn't know what that stuff was. Now, some were successful, some were not. But, you know, it is what it is. But again, you know, people, and that's what people are going to say. They're like, well, if it's a different time, then, well, that's nostalgic because, oh, well, they're revisiting the 80s when this was new. And that's the thing, like, okay, to some people, it'll be nostalgic, but it's like, again, that's all you have to go on. Like, just stop. Stop trying to live in the past. That's what every that's the big point of this video, of this discussion, of this podcast is everyone wants to live in the past. You can't live in the past. The past is over, folks. You need to move on. That's the point of, you know, the people on Facebook doing all these pages or Twitter or like this or share this or do whatever. It's enough, you know, like Stop living in the past. Live in the now. Move on. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with liking something. Another big point here. You know, if you like something, great. You know, more power to you. You like whatever you want. If you want to em embrace that, go for it. You know, just, just go for it, man. You know, you enjoy the hell out of whatever you want to enjoy. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But, again, you know, when you're constantly, and it's just with anything, it's not just with this, you know, when you're constantly shoving whatever down people's throats, we get tired of it. You know, we get tired of seeing this shit, we get tired of hearing this shit. You know, it gets old. It really does, folks. I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm, I'm being honest, you know. The thing with me is I'm always going to be honest. You know, it's just how I am. But you guys know this by now. Um, you know, it's just like enough. Enough. But, you know, it's just... <sighs> I don't know. Like, I don't even know what to say at this point. It's just like enough is enough. But, you know, stop, you know, I know I'm going off in different topics, but you don't need, you know, all these fucking sequels. It's just, just stop already, you know, you don't need, you know, I know, I don't know if it's going to happen now, but. Okay. I'm just, I'm thinking of nine different things here, folks, but. You know, I know, again, with Terminator, they want to make, you know, like, more... I don't think it's going to happen now because the movie flopped in, in the States. But you don't, like, you don't need it at all. Like, just stop. You know, you don't... You know, I, I know the comic book films and stuff, they want to keep making them. Like, how many fucking more are you going to make until people get tired of it? You know, eventually, soon, people are going to get tired of it. You know, it's it's not going to... This is not going to be... The only uh, thing, you know, the only type of movie from now on. You know, they're going to, the comic book films, the superhero films are going to die off eventually. Maybe not like tomorrow, maybe not in the next two or three years, but five, six years, people are going to be like, you know what? Kind of done with that. Kind of tired with that. You know, I think it's time that we move on to something else. You know. Believe it or not, folks, it's... It happens. You know, hate to burst anybody's bubble on the comic book thing, but it's going to happen. It's just like anything else. It's going to... It's going to end. You know, it's just how it is. But, yeah, it's just like, stop making these these, you know, sequels. And, again, you know, Hollywood's going to do whatever the hell Hollywood wants because that's who they are. But in terms of regular people like you and me, you know, again, I know I kind of went off there a little bit, which I have a tendency to do, which is fine because it's my video and I'm 
being honest and I'm being passionate about it, which is what you're supposed to do. But, you know, again, people need to stop just going off of nostalgia. You know, it's like that's all people want to do is go off of that. And again, you know, I understand there's people out there that don't have a lot. And I'm not talking about like money and stuff like that. I'm talking about life. You know, they don't have anybody. They don't have people in their lives to care for them and stuff like that. And I understand that people go through depression and different things. And that's fine because we've all been there. And if and that's not what I'm talking about. If if that's what you need to get by, if that's what you need to help you through things, then that's fine. That's not what I'm talking about at all. And I also understand and I know that there's, you know, special people out there, people who are, you know, have mental issues or physical issues or whatever, you know, and I'm not that's not what I'm talking about. You know, if if people think for one minute that I'm disrespecting people like that, you you, you better go somewhere else. Because that that's not how I roll. I ain't like that at all. I would never in a million years disrespect someone who is depressed or is has mental or physical issues. I would never do that. You know, that's just not me at all. But I'm just talking about regular people like me. You know, people who just just normal, regular people who who have nothing better to do then create these Facebook pages and these nostalgia pages and just go off of that. People who just want to, you know, again, live in the past. That's it. You know, they just want people just want to live in the past. And you can't do that. You know, you got to move forward. And again, there's nothing wrong with liking something. You like whatever the hell you want. But you should like it for the reason, for the fact that you enjoy it. Not, oh, well, I grew up with that. That was on when I was a kid. It's nostalgic. I have to like it. No, that's not how it should be. You should just like it because you like it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know, if you like Power Rangers, great. If you like Ninja Turtles, great. If you like wrestling, great. If you like My Little Pony, whatever. You know, whatever it is. Dragon Ball Z, whatever. You know, whatever... You like X-Files, Buffy, whatever. If you like it, awesome. You know, more power to you. I got no issues with that. You know, that's that's your thing. Go for it. You like whatever you want and just be happy. And that's, that's it. It's just because it makes you happy. Not because you grew up with it. Not because it's nostalgic. You know, no, none of that. You know, just like it because you like it. That's just how it should be. You know, that's just the issue that I have. You know, people just, well, it's nostalgic. No, it's just, if you like it, you like it. And there's nothing wrong with looking back on something every once in a while. Because we all do it. You know, it's great to look back and say, yeah, you know, I remember that and that was cool. And that was a good era to t- to live in. You know, because I talk about that stuff and that's, that's fine. You know, that stuff is fine. But when it's every day... And it's because you have nothing better to do except go off of that. Okay, that's a problem. Hate to tell you, but that's a problem. You should probably seek some help. You know, that's just my opinion on that, but oh well. But anyway, folks, I think I've gone on far too long here the the gist of this video and again this is something that I always talk about it's just just get off of the nostalgia just stop going off of that you know just be original you know think original think for yourself you know if you like something great like it all you want don't let anybody tell you different but like it because it, you enjoy it, not because oh well that was popular when I was a kid. I have to like that. No, it, it's not supposed to work that way, folks. You know, just be yourself, be original, like whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Just don't go off of it because it's nostalgic. You know, it, it doesn't, it shouldn't work that way. I know some people don't want to hear that, but that's the way it should be. Just don't. Do it because, well, 
it's nostalgic and that's what all these Facebook pages tell you to get off of Facebook folks go out there see the world there's more to the world than Facebook which a lot of people don't realize but there's more to life than Facebook get off of Facebook go explore go get into something go find something you know whatever it is may, may be and again Hollywood is not going to change they're just going to keep remaking things and making sequels and making uh, movies based off of books and based off of true stories because that's all they have to go on because Hollywood has clearly run out of ideas they clearly do not give a shit anymore about trying to do something original and again not original in the sense that it's completely 100% new because that'll never happen it's just not not in this day and age not in this time it's just it's not going to happen it's it's impossible it's impossible to do but you know hollywood is not going to change their ways and and a, a little guy like me here on youtube is definitely not going to make them change their opinion and then nobody else is except the people that are in charge it's it's as simple as that it's as simple as that but anyway folks i know i've gone on far too long here but I hope that you enjoyed this discussion into the nostalgia trend. Hopefully this tires me out so I can go to sleep because i got to get up and go to work in a couple of hours. So uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care and goodbye.